Well, tomorrow is World Pancreatic Cancer Today, and as News 3 reporter Angela Bohan shows us, work is being done right here in Hampton Roads to combat this deadly disease. Pancreatic cancer is one of the deadliest forms of cancer, but here at Eastern Virginia Medical School, a team of researchers is hoping to change that. I got to speak with them and had the opportunity to meet a 12-year survivor of pancreatic cancer. Not something you hear of very often. Living a normal life. Got three grandchildren now. John O'Grady of Chesapeake is well aware that being a pancreatic cancer survivor is a rarity. Studies show half of pancreatic cancer patients will die within six months of diagnosis and approximately 90% of patients will die within five years. The future, if we are successful. EVMS researchers say they're working on ways to change these numbers and give patients a higher chance of survival. If we are successful, we can really make a difference in terms of pancreatic cancer treatment in the future. So that's our hope or that's what the young generation is going to carry out this flag to go forward. Dr. Amy Tong says symptoms can be unclear, but include sudden weight loss and persistent back or abdominal pain. However, new testing can help those with a family history of pancreatic cancer. O'Grady says he was misdiagnosed for about two years. Pancreatic cancer definitely flies underneath the radar. He now spends time raising awareness through fundraisers and helping those who have been diagnosed. Very rewarding and a blessing. At, um, you know, and I just try to keep encouraging people to uh, just to try to be advocates to fight the disease and to just treat as best that you can. Enjoy every day. And there is a fundraiser walk coming up in the spring in Virginia Beach through the Pancreatic Cancer Action Network. For more information about that or other resources, look inside this story at WTKR.com. In Norfolk, Angela Bohan, News 3.